Hey everybody, it's Jace with Marshall Mid Collectibles, and today we're going to do two very special reviews. Uh, even though I'm showing both of uh, the shipping boxes here, I am going to do these individually. But what we got in today was the Mondo, He-Man, and Skeletor 1-6 scale uh, exclusive versions of the figures, which are only available through the Mondo website. So we're going to go ahead and start with He-Man, and then we'll finish up with Skeletor. I, but I wanted to do these kind of both at the same time, because at the end, I am going to have photographs of both of the figures together. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and what we have in front of us is He-Man out of the shipping box. And i got to say, right off the bat, the packaging is exquisite. Um, first of all, you've got this huge image of the door for Castle Grayskull. And I'm getting flashbacks of being a little kid because it even has the marking on the door like where the lock. If you were a kid and had the old uh, Castle Grayskull, you would have to stick the two parts of the sword together to unlock the door. And I just find it really, really cool that even though this is done almost in like an animation style, it's, it has that on there and I'm just blown away. Um, let's go ahead and do a 360 on the package art because this is just a slip cover. Now, mine's got a little tiny corner ding, but it's not too bad. I've seen some people get it a lot worse where their boxes look like they're basically kicked to their house. And I think that has to do with the shipping containers that Mondo uses. They're just really, really thin. Um, other than that, though, it is beautiful. You've got the whole wraparound slip cover, which has no graphics on it other than the image of Castle Grayskull, which this in itself will be a perfect backdrop for your figures. And I do believe these will fit in a DTOF. I will go ahead and check um, afterwards, but uh, judging from the measurements, uh, it should fit in there like a glove, no problem. Um, so basically that's it. You have the front door. The rest of it is the castle motif. Let's go ahead and stop that for a second. And then after you take off your slip cover, okay, and with the slip cover off, we come to this beautiful art box, which uh, is second to none for for Mondo, which uh, they're known for their posters and their printed goods anyway. So I, I was really having high hopes for the packaging, and so far Mondo has not let down. Um, you have this uh, kind of like this gold iron cross. You have a uh, sketch of He-Man in the center. Uh, almost like a realistic style, not so much uh, like from the cartoon. Uh, you have the Masters of the Universe logo. You have He-Man in that He-Man font that we are all familiar with from Mattel. Most powerful man in the universe. You've got some Mondo labeling. Uh, of course, we'll have my little ding in the corner. Uh, you have the Mondo exclusive decal on the front. When you turn to the side, it just says one six scale collectible figure in gold. And on the back, you have that same image you had on the front, but it's the full body shot. It's all colored. Uh, you got Castle Grayskull in the back, Eternia. This really looks nice. This would be a beautiful, like a, like 11 by 17 art print or, or some sort of lithograph. And I wouldn't be surprised if Mondo doesn't release something like that uh, at a later date. Um, on this side, it just says 1-6 scale uh, collectible figure again. On the top, you have the Masters of the Universe logo. And on the bottom, whoop, flip it the other way, we just have our legalese and the barcode. And this whole thing opens up with a magnetic flap, and then you get to see He-Man in all his glory. Now, since this is the exclusive, it comes with the Alcala uh, head sculpt for the Skeletor figure which we'll go over in this review, but then we'll actually get to see it on the figure when I do the Skeletor review. On the opposite side of the flap, we do have uh, imaging from the door of Castle Grayskull, and then we have uh, He-Man's bio right there. And I will have some HD photos of that at the end when I'm doing the photo review. But uh, if you want, you can go ahead and pause that if you'd like to read that now. Okay, and um, let's go ahead and get He-Man out of his cardboard and plastic prison and take a look at this figure. Now, with everything out of the box, it does come in a series of plastic trays. Um, we have a top and a bottom, and let's go ahead and do the bottom real quick. And what we have here is we'll have the Mondo stand. We have uh, He-Man's power sword, a scabbard battle axe, uh, a 
ray pistol and a uh, ray gun rifle. Uh, of course, his shield. And we also have another sword for him. So let's go ahead and take a look at those pieces. And we'll start with the pieces I probably will not be uh, posing my He-Man with. And that's one we have the laser rifle. And this is very reminiscent of uh, some of the pieces that we saw when we were kids with the Mattel. In fact, the, the sculpt is um, like a scaled up, highly detailed version of uh, some of the blasters that, that came with the actual Mattel figures back in the day. Very nicely weathered, a lot of great detail, chunky piece. Even has wraps on the handles, if you see that. Like, Okay. And I'm sure we'll see these uh, pieces again when uh, Mana Arms comes out. Really nice detail. I mean, it, it looks like a used ray gun. Gorgeous piece. We have a smaller sword and there's some really nice paint details i'm hoping the camera picks it up like on the edge and scarring it's not just a one-dimensional paint job that they did of course the hilt looks like it's wrapped in leather very nice now one of my favorite pieces i always loved on my old he-man figures back in the day was his battle axe and this thing does not disappoint it looks very very cool there is some heavy weathering on it that is a very cool piece um, the power sword that looks very cool it has the same shape but it is very detailed we're not used to seeing something this detailed in fact back in the day if you remember the he-man came with one piece of the power sword and skeletor came with the other and they fit together like puzzle pieces and that's what helped unlock the door of castle grayskull got some really cool detail on the hilt see the skull there well, they did not disappoint with this. That is cool because that's like the Battle Cat helm or uh, helmet is on the tip of uh, his scabbard there. I like that a lot. And of course, just to show, your power sword does go in the scabbard. Very nice. In fact, I don't know if you're picking it up or the camera can pick it up, but down in there, they've actually put like a, a felt piece on each side. So when it goes in, it kind of locks it in place, but it's also not going to scratch it. It's not rattling around in there. Uh, um, really excellent thinking on Mondo's part. Uh, let's go to the shield. Wow, that thing, that's a chunk of plastic there. That is too cool. Well, that's kind of rubbery, the fit over his arm. There is a little plastic bag with the handle part that goes in there, so he has, uh, where he can hold on to it. I really think I'm going to have mine posed with his, um, sword on his back, and he's going to be holding the battle axe in this shield. Very nice. Um, that's the little handle in the bag. And then the last thing on this bottom tray is the Mondo stand, which Mondo has a nice M carved on the bottom, which is kind of strange because you don't see it. I wouldn't mind having this on the top, but the top is just plain black. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. More than I thought I would. Again, an amazing amount of detail on the bottom of the stand. 
really, I wouldn't have had a problem with that being on the top. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. But it does look like it needs something here because it just kind of looks like a blob of plastic. Um, okay, let's go ahead and move this stuff out of the way and get to the meat and potatoes of this figure. Okay, now we're into the main tray of the figure. And the first thing I want to get out of the way is Burby. Um, this is kind of questionable for me. I mean, I am not trouncing it because it looks just like him from the cartoon. Um, it's very well done, very well painted, well sculpted. Um, you got a couple articulation points in the antenna. Uh, his little propeller on his tail spins. He is extremely cute, and he's extremely cartoon accurate. Um, it just It's just weird seeing him with a realistic depiction of He-Man that you would get this. Uh, again, I don't have a problem with it being included. Uh, he does come with his own little clear stand, too. Uh, I do want to go ahead and take a look at this, if I can get it out. The... Uh, exclusive piece which is the uh, Alcala head sculpt. I love this. This is what sold me on getting the exclusive version of He-Man. Um, I got the exclusive of Skeletor too and he comes with a cosmic key and honestly I, I don't really feel that as an exclusive. I like the extra head sculpts that they do for stuff and, and things like that. Um, like the faker is coming with a damaged face, um, merman's coming with a, an alternative portrait, and this uh, came with the exclusive He-Man, and then Skeletor comes with like the Cosmic Key, um, which unless you're a huge fan of the uh, a movie, um, is not that big of a deal. That is simply stunning. I love this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, Okay, and uh, this will be making an appearance in my Skeletor review. So, see what else we get. We get uh, four hands besides the ones that are on the figure. We got some trigger hands to go with those ray guns. Those look nice. Not hyper detailed, but they're still nice, really chunky wrist pegs. I doubt you'll ever break one of these. They're pretty short, too. I'm surprised how short the pegs are on them. But they have a lip. His uh, hands almost look dirty on the palm side. You know, like where he's been gripping stuff. I understand that. Yeah, been grabbing the hilt of that leather or holding metal. It, they wouldn't be ultimately clean we'll get that that looks good um now we'll go to the head sculpt that i actually really really like and i know a lot of people don't but it is the it's like the mattel nod which is that big old wide chunky he-man face <laughs> i freaking love this and i know there's a lot of people that just hate it I just totally dig it. Okay, and let's get to the figure himself. And, wow, he's got some good weight to him. That is a beautiful head sculpt, too. Okay, maybe. Maybe I'll leave that one on. That is nice. It does kind of... I don't know if anybody else is getting it. Is anybody else picking up a little young Arnold vibe on that face? Especially like in the jawline. I'm picking up a young Conan. Um, love the work on the chest armor. You got some scratches on the paint and everything like that. Um, really nice work. Now I've seen people where they've complained about that back joint. I can understand it. That's kind of an ugly joint. But uh, it does kind of get hidden really well with the, the chest armor in the front. So unless you're, you know, having him posed where you're showing his back all the time, because really the back of the knee joints are pretty freaking ugly too. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Nice uh, leather-like material. You got some really nice fine stitching in there for the like the loincloth. Um, 
felt is nice. This is actually thicker than I thought it would be. I thought that was going to be like some cheap, cheap material. And of course he does have his, you know, his little furry trunks up underneath if you want it to take this off. From what I understand, all you got to do is pop the body apart and you can pull this off because he is a figure. He does have the fur on his boots, which is nice. Got some good ankle articulation. Uh, he's got the double jointed knees. Let me go ahead and get uh, like all the plastic off of him and get him set up. I will pop his head off and put the other one on too so we can see that. But uh, And then I can finish out the review and we'll do some HD photos here at the end. Okay, and I've had uh, He-Man out for a few minutes and taken a look at him. And I can honestly say I am thoroughly impressed. I think Mondo has uh, gone above and beyond what they said they were going to deliver on this figure. Um, and in fact, I really wasn't even looking forward to He-Man. I was always a villain's kid growing up. In fact, my first Masters of the Universe figure that I ever purchased, or my mother ever purchased for me back when I was a little kid, was the uh, Skeletor figure. And she's the one that picked up He-Man when I, when I got uh, Skeletor. She's like, well, you'll need both. Had a cool mom. Um, but uh, I was drawn to the villains. The villains were always more colorful. They had the cooler sculpts and everything like that. I mean, I had a couple heroes that I liked in my collection, but I always liked the villains. So when these were first announced, I was immediately drawn to the Skeletor and was not really interested in getting He-Man. I am glad that I bit the bullet and got the He-Man. And I'm glad I got the exclusive so I could get the Alcala uh, head sculpt for Skeletor. Um, but this is a gorgeous figure, really nice tight joints, no loose joints whatsoever on him. I'm really, really pleased with this. I don't have any kind of quality control issues. In fact, I really like that the hands are done with a very softer kind of pliable rubber. So getting in the weapons in and out seems to be a breeze. The pegs change out really well. Um, let's go ahead and change out his head sculpt real quick to the classic look and you can have a look and see what that looks like. Okay, and I switched out the head sculpt. Really easy uh, peg system to do that to. It's uh, not difficult at all. Um, <laughs> I really love this head sculpt on this figure too, so I'm kind of in a dilemma. Don't know how I'll have him pose if I'll have him with the uh, realistic kind of young Arnold head. It's a really nice sculpt too, and there's a lot of extra dry brushing on the hair. Now it's not super hyper detailed like uh, you'd see with like a Hot Toys type uh, figure where you've got like the little speckles in the skin tone. It's still a figure. I mean, it still looks like a you know like a toy, um, but it's just so well done. And let's get close, but that just looks. To me, that looks good, too. I mean, I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, ah, it's crap. But uh, I just love that classic look for He-Man. That's, you know, that's who was in my toy box that greeted me every day when I got home from school to play with. So I'm used to that face. And there, there's like that certain point of nostalgia. So um, in conclusion, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, he is a definite must-get for the extra five dollars that you pay for the exclusive to get the uh, Alcala um, Skeletor head, he is definitely well worth it. You're going to want this um, if you're going to collect the line. Um, like I said, there's some things here that I just will not display. If you're watching this, um, uh, you can watch my sister review, which I'm getting ready to do Skeletor, and I will have some HD photos of He-Man here at the end. So please uh, feel free to check that out. And also, please make sure you're watching this in 4K because this is all shot in 4K. Um, if you're new to our channel, thank you for uh, joining us. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. We're a young channel and your viewership means the world to us because we're really trying to grow. And we've done amazing in like uh, the last uh, couple months of with our viewership increasing. So I really appreciate all of you that have come along for the ride. We try to put out a couple of videos, if not like three or four a month. But uh, we're always looking to put out new content, toys and collectibles and what have you. So we really appreciate you being here. Uh, again, this is Jace for Marshall Made Collectibles. Thank you for watching and take care.